I'm going to show you a, uh, a resaw jig I made for resawing. I do a lot of resawing for other things, but also I have a laser engraver. I need thin pieces of wood to cut and use like a veneer and cut out and do some inlays. Most of the time, when people are resawing, they're having to hold it against the fence and use some sort of push block to push it through the saw. Both their hands are occupied. And that's one, you're, especially with a board that's only three eighths of an inch thick, you're going to get a lot of wobble. I don't care how much pressure you put to it, the, the blade is kicking down on it. So I took a piece of basswood, a good wide thick so it doesn't, it doesn't uh, shake. I actually cut a groove in this other board so the resaw jig actually rides on the fence, can't come off the fence. I'm going to turn on my, I, I run a Venturi vent, it's going to make a little noise and I'm going to cut it off. But I'm going to use a Venturi vent to hold it to the jig, it won't come off. I'm using a Venturi bin and I'll show you that in, in just a second and I'm going to do a little resawing to show you how good this is. But what's the advantage of this is when I'm pushing it through the wood, my hand's way to the left of the blade and it can't come and get me. I can't push my hand through there. I don't have to hold any pressure here because the vacuum is, is on this plastic plate that has a rubber gasket on it is holding a vacuum. Anyway, so I just took that 3 8 inch piece of board and, and resawed a piece of veneer that is uh, probably a sixteenth of an inch thick. I've actually run this through a, you know, to get out the uh, saw marks a little bit because when I stop the video uh, and my blade's not as entirely sharp as it should be. But a lot of times you won't even get that, but if you have a drum sander, that'll eliminate a lot of that. Alright, here's the system I'm using to control that vacuum. I've got it on. All my valves are shut. I actually run three different units off this. I, I run the resaw jig that I just showed you. I have a little uh, board that I can clamp things to it with vacuum. But I also use it on my lathe to hold items for small turning. But this is the Venturi vent. So it's creating uh, a vacuum with compressed air. Air is flying through it and creating a vacuum with a Venturi vent. And this unit actually has an electronic shutoff valve that shuts off the air when this pressure valve tells it it has enough air. In this particular unit, I have two 3 inch PVC pipes, probably 18 or 12 inches long, that are actually holding a vacuum stored. It's on, I've actually got a vacuum stored. So the advantage of having this system over just a Venturi vent, your compressor doesn't have to constantly keep running to keep the vacuum. I'm going to open up one of the valves and, and kind of close the air. And you can hear the compressed air being released through the Venturi vent. And when it gets up to its when it gets up to what it needs to be, it shuts itself off and it's still got a vacuum. I'm only pulling like 22 negative pounds of mercury or whatever they want to call it. But I save a lot of electricity because my unit, my compressor doesn't have to constantly keep running because I've got a vacuum, a storage of vacuum. As I said in the other video, I'm using this Venturi vent, but I can also use it on my lathe if I've turned a bowl and I want to sand the bottom of the bowl off without chucking it anyway. I can just apply it to the suction cup, turn on my vacuum, and because I had a storage of vacuum, because I had a storage of vacuum, I don't even need it to hold the, the item to the lathe. Now, you're not going to do any heavy turning with a vacuum chuck, but you can do light cuts with a sharp tool and you can do uh, uh, for, for surely sand. 
Now you can do all this with a vacuum pump, but I didn't have a vacuum pump at the time I actually do now that I use for other things. But this is a neat system.